Hey, what's up? Shenna, as always. Uh, weird video format. Pardon the tilt. I don't care to adjust the thing. Uh, this is not going to be a regular thing, but I just wanted to get this out of the way because I mentioned it last night and, well, last night was when we recorded the last video we recorded. And I didn't feel like starting up a whole ass new video for another thing. So last time I did mini review shit, it was the hot chili and seaweed flavored chips. Now it's time for the other one, which is just hot chili. When it looks backwards, I'm assuming it's not. Or if it is, eh, I don't fucking care. That can edit this. He edits anything anyway. So. Open. Fucking, there we go. Hang on. Let me... Smells kind of like barbecue chips. Like the Lay's Honey Barbecue. So not bad. Not a bad smell. Doesn't necessarily smell spicy, which is weird because the uh, the seaweed chili ones did smell spicy. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's not bad. I just went on a fucking roller coaster of emotions trying to process what the hell I was tasting. And my hair is a mess in the back. Gotta do a shower. Cut that out. So, it's not bad. Again, it does have kind of like an almost barbecue flavor to it. I'm not sure I would say chili. I've definitely had worse strange flavors of chips, but I don't think I'm getting this particular one again. Honestly, weirdly enough, out of all three flavors I tried, the one I liked the most was, of course, the one I forgot to do for the actual review, which was the original, well, I say original, the uh, salt and seaweed. That one was really damn good. So it goes salt and seaweed, seaweed and hot chili, and then just straight hot chili. Apparently, I just like the taste of seaweed. So that's a revelation that we've had. Anyways, this is mini review done. Shen, as always, out. Bye.